So the official Fallout Twitter account just posted this right here. It says when you start seeing Halloween stuff in September, don't worry. Plenty of fun stuff comes in our beta next month. Fallout 76. And of course, this is from the Fallout 76 beta right here. An in-game screenshot showing off what says Sickle Man was here with an ominous skeleton to the left. Hmm. Plus... We've got some more details about the uh, beta release date. Some really good speculation on that. Someone got has some really good information on that one. And then also, uh, we are talking about upcoming events that Bethesda will be appearing at. And some really cool details about team play uh, that the official Fallout account goes into as well. But yeah, we got to talk about this uh, whole Sickle Man was here image. And remember, guys, as always, for constant updates about Fallout 76, subscribe and turn on that bell icon. You will get my video videos uh, in your email, and you will be notified about upcoming Fallout 76 news and gameplay. But, yeah, Sickle Man was here. What does it mean? So, it's some sort of Reaper uh, reference, and a lot of people are saying, well, the beta is going to be Halloween-themed, and that's really uh, a good... Uh, thought there, but you gotta remember, you gotta remember this, guys, that the Great War started and ended on Saturday, October 23rd, 2077, when nuclear weapons were launched by all the nuclear-capable nations of the Fallout world, and that just means that a lot of people in the, in the United States would have been decorating for Halloween, and this could be what we're seeing right here, the creepy leftovers, if you would, after the nuclear fallout cleared, and uh, that's what we could be seeing. But at the same time, you know, I would expect seasonal events to be something that would happen in Fallout 76, simply because they're so popular in other games like Fallout 76. Even, you know, Anthem, the upcoming Anthem game, I know that they have said that they will definitely be doing seasonal events for sure. So, uh, you know, that could mean we could be seeing Christmas-themed DLC or additions to the game, Halloween-themed, you know, gear and items that we can go find and hunt down and stuff like that which would be pretty cool and add a lot of personality to the game for sure. Uh, but yeah, it looks like uh, this beta is going to be releasing kind of at this uh, perfect time, just in time for Halloween. The bombs dropped around that time. It's going to be awesome. Can't freaking wait. Uh, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about what they post about team play mechanics. They posted this. It said Fallout 76. Every team member who assists in killing an enemy successfully lands a blow shot gets XP. The team member to land the fatal blow gets slightly more experience and anyone can loot an enemy corpse after, after it's been killed, excuse me, regardless of who killed it, In quote there. So that's how team mechanics are going to work in Fallout 76 if you did not know. So yeah, if you land that fatal blow, you're going to be the one that receives uh, more experience, which does make a lot of sense. How much more? That's going to be the question. I think they're going to probably adjust all of this stuff as time goes on as well. But a lot of you guys were wondering how, you know, team play stuff was working. Well, there is your answer. Now, we've got an interesting beta date speculation. You know, we're approaching October very quickly here. It will get here before you know it. And uh, this was posted by Alfie Torpedo, who says... PS4 beta possibly opening on October 8th per Amazon wrap. He goes, so I've been going back and forth with Amazon, and like most of you, I pre-ordered the game for PS4 to get access to the beta. They still haven't sent me my code, and every rep I've spoken to has given October 8th as the day I'm finally uh, to get my email with the beta code, despite the product page saying I should receive it two days after ordering. Normally, I take an arbitrary date with a grain of salt, except that every rep I've spoken to has been adamant about October 8th. And then he goes on to say, might be nothing, but seems to make sense. Xbox, Xbox beta does get it first. It would make sense that they would get it for a week before anyone else on PS4 elsewhere due to their partnership. It also gives two weeks roughly of time to the beta test before the bombs drop, given the Fallout lore has bombs dropping on 1023. Anybody else have input? Anybody else not getting their code from Amazon? Uh, end quote. And I actually 
uh, had someone write in to me. Let me see if I can pull up their name real quick, but I'll try to get their name up. Uh, but they told me that they contacted GameStop uh, about the beta, and that rep told them that the Xbox One beta would begin uh, on, I believe it was October 1st. And I want to give a shout out to who wrote me. Oh, yes, it's Travis. Special thank you uh, to Travis for letting me know about this. Of course, take that as a grain of salt. Take that as speculation. He even said so himself. Uh, it could just be the rep could be wrong. Who knows? But with two of these uh, separate, uh, I guess you would say, incidences here from two separate stores, now things are getting interesting. So it could very well be for Xbox users, the beta might potentially uh, start on October 1st. And then for everyone else, uh, it would begin on October 8th. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned for official word. I will let you know for sure. Okay, so let's talk about, you know, upcoming events related to Fallout 76. When will we be getting new gameplay, you know, new trailers, new info drops, anything, screenshot, something. Uh, so, the official Bethesda UK account posted this out. So, who are we going to see at EGX over the next couple of days? Come visit our Merc stand in Zone 2 for daily giveaways and other Fallout-themed fun. So, they're going to be at EGX. Uh, around, I think that's going to be September 20th, uh, so we could be seeing something from them from that event as well. But also, TGS is going on, and Fallout 76 is confirmed on that list for, get this, PlayStation 4. So I'm not too sure how much we would be seeing from Fallout 76, because as you guys know, Bethesda is working with Microsoft. Uh, to basically secure a relationship with them and uh, the uh, beta is going to be starting first on Xbox and all the footage you could see has a B on it you know the Xbox controller scheme uh, so I'm not too sure if they're going to show much from TGS considering they have it listed under PlayStation 4 who knows uh, TGS is going to be taking place September 20th through the 23rd or 24th or something like that but if I find out anything if there's new gameplay a trailer Man, I'm going to have it right here for you. Breakdowns, the full thing. So stay tuned. Remember, bell icon, subscribe. Just saying. Just saying so you don't miss anything, okay? Okay, so um, also let's dive into some more stuff here as well, including your top comments. So remember to leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up in future videos. So let's begin, shall we? So this first top comment comes from Canicorn, who says, One paddle ball string weighs 0 .01. One paddle ball string costs one cap. Paddle ball string equals currency. Uh, and if you guys don't know what he's referring to, there was an image released by Bethesda showing off paddle string ammunition. And it was from the Fallout 76 beta. And everyone took note that this would make some really good currency considering its weight and uh, other things like that. And of course, a lot of you guys are wondering, can you up the value of uh, your items in the game? You know, sell a uh, paddle ball string for like 10 caps or, or, you know, set your own amount on that. It appears like that might not be the case, that things might be set in stone and they really want to keep it balanced in that regard. Do you guys think you should be able to go in and really mess with the fig figures in any way that you want? Like sell something for like super high price? That could potentially be interesting for rarer items in the game, for sure. Uh, another top comment comes from Astro Baby, who says, I'm going to lose my mind waiting for gameplay, and I'll be on PS4. Got 61 upvotes. Let's see how uh, the Xbox users did this time, shall we? Uh, they go on to say, uh, this is from Vinyl Pie 100 who says, Where is my Xbox players? Can I get some likes? 109 likes there. But he asked for likes, so, hmm. This has got to be a war, guys. Who's going to win the next upvote, uh, you know, down in the description below for uh, what platform you're going to be playing on? Uh, let's find out in the next video. So get to it. Get to voting and get to telling me what platform you are going to be on. Uh, but we've got another comment right here who says, How do you end the consoles console wars? And this comes from Nick. He says, Crossplay, because at that at that point, excuse me, it's not console wars. It's an exclusives war. 15 upvotes on that one. That is so true right now, in my opinion, with the exclusive war. And I'm just giving my opinion. I think PS4 is definitely winning. You've got Spider-Man, God of War. You've got Last of Us 2 coming up. 
But on the Xbox front, I am so excited for Halo Infinite, uh, you know, the next Gears. And then, you know, coming uh, sooner than all of those is Forza Horizon 4. So, yeah, let me know who do you think is winning the Exclusives War. Go ahead and post a comment down below. Because right now I've been playing the hell out of Spider-Man. <laughs> Again, that game is sick. Okay, uh, the next comment comes from Sean the Brackman who says, Flare Gun in Fallout New Vegas scares away abominations. And by the look of Fallout 76, it has a lot of abominations. End quote. Very good point. You know, with that previous uh, beta image we saw from Bethesda, they highlighted a bunch of ammunition and in there was Flare Gun Ammo. So it looks like uh, you might be using the flare gun to scare away certain creatures. We'll see if it has any more implication than that, though. You know, the Division uses the flare gun in different ways to initiate extractions and stuff like that. So perhaps they have more use for the flare gun this time. Actually, I'm really hoping so, to be blind. I think it would be cool to use that flare gun to call in reinforcements or perhaps uh, do something else. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Stay tuned for any official word on what is going on with the flare gun. But guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you make of the Sickle Man Was Here image. Pretty ominous stuff here. Uh, and it's cool that this beta will, again, have themes of Halloween, considering we will be approaching Halloween very quickly when the beta arrives. And everyone will have decorations in real life. And then when they go into, you know, the beta, you're going to be seeing leftover decorations. going to be pretty creepy, pretty cool. Can't freaking wait. But guys... Thanks for watching. Stay tuned here to Open World Games for more Open World Gaming goodness. And of course, Fallout 76. And I will see you guys soon enough in the Wasteland.